Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna get into this soft glam. If you wanna see how I got this look, that is perfect for Valentine's Day or just any soft glam going out occasion and just keep on watching. So I am starting off, I put two layers of concealer on and now I am baking my face while I do my eyeshadow, which is typically what I do when I'm going for like a soft glam look, when I'm not doing any crazy pigmented eyes, I mean like colorful eyeshadows or glitter. I normally do my base makeup first. It's just, I don't know, it just seems faster to me. So I'm gonna take the palette that I literally always use, one of my favorite palettes ever. Literally a staple in my makeup collection and it should be in yours too, the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I adore and love so much. And I'm starting out with Burnt Orange. As you can see, Burnt Orange, I have literally hit pan on it and it is basically gone because I literally use it as a crease color for everything. Burnt Orange is just so perfect and I'm just really working that around using a flat, I mean, I'm sorry, a fluffy brush. And I'm just going in circles and putting that in my crease and really buffing it out and really just blending it out using circular motions and really just blending out that crease color then i'm taking cypress umber with a smaller blending brush and really just going in the like where my eyeball is like if you go like if you push hard enough on your eye you can feel for where your eyeball is so i'm really just going in my crease and with a smaller brush to really get detailed and then i go in with a bigger fluffier brush and i really just blend it out and kind of buff it out bring it a little higher for when i cut my crease and then I cut my crease off camera because I was out of focus. But then I'm taking my beat up, tore up, raggedy, <laughs> Morphe 35B palette. And I am using that white shade. I always use this shade when I want to use like a white eyeshadow. And it's so pretty. And I'm just packing that on my lid. And then I am going to take a fluffy brush that I use Cypress Umber to buff out to buff out. And I'm really just buffing it out even more, making sure that you can't see where it starts, where the white starts and stops. You want to really make sure that outer corner is really blended and blurred out so it doesn't look patchy at all and everything looks seamless and blended in. So perfect. I love the way this look turns out. It's really super easy. Just make sure everything is blended. Then I put my lashes on off camera. And then I am just, I'm, why I, you see I'm pressing the powder, the leftover powder in my face. And then I'm also like wiping off the excess. And that was Fenty Setting Powder. This is Fenty Bronzer, as always. Y'all know the usual. Beijing Gal. Then I'm taking the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like one of the first glow kits. It's super old. I had to go back into this because this used to be my favorite highlighter ever. As you can see, I hit pan on it. And then always, always, always highlight your brow bone and oh my gosh this mac blush was the first blush that i ever bought i'm so obsessed with blush now so where i can really really appreciate it at first i just got blush because you know that was just part of makeup but now that i love blush it's like i can really really appreciate it it's ambering rose by mac it's so stunning it's so gorgeous i love this blush ambering rose my first blush that i ever bought <laughs> so then I'm taking a MAC lip liner. I think this is like Spice or Sore. I think it's Spice. It's Spice. MAC lip liner. And then I'm taking a MAC lipstick in taupe. And then I'm going in the middle with, I think, Honey Love. Yeah, with Honey Love in the middle. Then a MAC gloss on top in Oyster Girl. And then a Fenty gloss to top it off. Crazy lip combo, but... Okay, we love it here. 
and then I'm just highlighting my inner corner and this is a super cute fun soft glam don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram at Lemonade Jade and tell everyone you know to subscribe let's get me to 100 subscribers and thank you so much for watching like this video give me some comments recreate love you bye